Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist in their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's via text, chat, phone, or video call. You can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. If your therapist isn't the right fit for any reason, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional charge. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality you expect from in-office therapy, but with a therapist who is custom-picked for you, more scheduling flexibility, and at a more affordable price. Get 10% off at your first month at betterhelp.com slash nerdlocker, and that's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash nerdlocker. And we've also linked them down below in the description. <clears throat> I had something in my throat. Jesus, get the dick out of your mouth. Do the intro. <laughs> <laughs>
and I mean, if they end up like in the last episode, I said like they might end up killing Keaton's Batman. They can kill kill Keaton's Vulture. Keaton's just die left and right. Yeah, <laughs> could till Beetlejuice too. Yeah, <laughs> where he can't die. <laughs> Speaking of Spider Man, I have a couple of things on it. The next okay. one is real quick. The Lego Universe was announced for Spider Verse. Crazy. That's kind of cool. What I wonder if that's gonna be like into Lego Movie or is that like because that's not Sony. So no. I wonder where that like where those rights land like is it going to be called a lego world or is it just going to be uh what's the other one mega blocks mega blocks ew but spy like marvel and spider-man both have legos so i wouldn't be surprised it, it should be legos probably we'll see what they call it i mean they might have like a temporary license on it just yeah for the movie probably and then with the spider-verse and everything i recently came across a video and this video is talking about something that happened in the comics a couple of months ago. And I'm surprised I haven't heard about this ahead of time because I haven't read up, kept with the Spider-Man comics lately. Mm-hmm. But there was a specific run of Dan Slott's uh, Spider-Man run. In this issue of, like, I think it's been six, and I think it's continuing, they're back uh, in 2005, I think, 2006, there was a book called Spider-Man the Other. And it was a graphic novel uh, compiled of a bunch of issues that talked to Spider-Man about the Spider-Verse and like it okay. con- it uh, solidified what it was back then and it dealt with Morlun which was an inheritor and it was like a vampire kind of guy that fed on spider totems which are all the Spider-Men okay. and like was taking apart the web of life and destiny which is what we learned about in Spider-Verse and what we're going to get more into probably with this Madam Web and the whole like No Way Home mm-hmm and essentially what happened in the comics was the inheritors and uh like morlun like fought spider-man killed him he came back stronger because in purgatory he met the big spider that told him like you have always been more man than spider it's time to embrace the spider than the man and he embraces more of the spider which gives him like these weird like projectile like big they can shoot like no spikes that come out of his arms that sting people like that he can kill people with like basically like wolverine but with that it's like assassin's creed but yeah (laughs) and instead of just sticking to walls he can have also people stick to him so it's easier to save people so he can he like saves a bunch of people like it just attached to him and like gets them out and everything super like more super strength like he just tenfold gets better and that all like kind of like went away with a lot of retcons and redos and everything. But they've kept that character of Moreland and the Spider-Verse alive in many, many different forms. The most recent one was Moreland came back. Spider-Man freaks out because he's like, oh, it's Moreland. Got to beat the shit out of him. Punches mm-hmm. him. Then all of a sudden gets attacked by Spider-Man Noir, who is now this arachnoid looking creature that kills Spider-Woman with a like a dagger that like turns her into webs essentially tries to kill Spider-Man Morlin like rips off the webbing. And after he was like punched by Spider-Man and says like, if you would have let me talk, I'm trying to tell you, like I'm trying to save you the whole web of life of destiny is being destroyed. And I was sent here to help you guys. And they're like, what are you talking about? So as they're getting attacked by all these other, like spider Gwen spider, uh, all these other people that return to like these arachnoid creatures out comes another Spider-Man that has some sort of like mystical power. And they're like, don't worry, I, we're getting out of here. Like, they want your totem. They like, they want the spider magic. And they're like, spider magic. And they're like, yeah, I seal off the portals. They're like, wait, 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 go back. What are you talking about with spider magic, dude? So, spider magic started before <laughs> all other magic. So you know how when Doctor Strange does his powers and it kind of looks like Spider Man's, the whipping. Yeah. That's because the mystic arts learn from spider magic and based it on it. So Spider-Man has access to spider magic, which predates the Sorcerer Supreme, which means technically any and all Spider-Men are the most OP. What? And this makes a lot of sense when you look at the movies and what they've put into it. Look at what happened when... Doctor Strange knocked Peter out, but was able to come back in. He's like, wait, you shouldn't be able to do that. Yeah. Because he predates him. He is more powerful than the Sorcerer Supreme. So spider magic has now become canon within the comics. No, it hasn't. It has. 
This is completely canon in the comics. Wait, oh, this is wow. what I'm saying. Why have people not been talking about this? Also, kind of goes back to I don't think it was that far back because they would have to have known this a long time. But they could easily like if I was a writer, I'm like, ooh, how do I make everything else make sense? Easy ways. Think about when Tobey Maguire Spider Man was doing the webs. Go web, go fly he was doing all the doctor strange things no but all the things that doctor strange does yeah. peter did and so like and then also the mention of doctor strange and spider-man 2 it's like all these things that you can easily rework to make it all make sense but i don't know if they're gonna go with that into the spider-verse movies because we now have the next one that was called beyond the spider-verse so we might get that actual canon and that's how we get these people in. That's how they can instant. That's how they can easily say, "Andrew, want to come back?" He could portal himself in. Mm-hmm. Like it just all makes sense. Why did Spider Man have specifically Doctor Strange help him with this whole break and everything? Like, how did Spider Man fuck up the world so bad? Because he had the power in him, and that's why when that spell went wrong, it went wrong tenfold because he's more powerful than Doctor Strange. So yeah. whatever he says is gonna trump Doctor Strange's spell. That's right. how it broke in the first place. Like, all of this would make sense because that was in the last six months this comic came out. And Spider-Man No Way Home, yes, came out beforehand. But who knows what these writers are talking about way down the line, especially when Kevin Feige someone that's planning 10 years down the road. Who knows who he's talking to because he's over all of Marvel now. He's not just over the movies. He's over the comics as well. Everything, yeah. Like, he guides all these things. So if he's guiding it to a way to make sense of, like, hey, do this storyline, see if it works. Because if that does, we'll just easily throw that into our movies. Dude, that's crazy. What the fuck? Is that what you wanted to tell me? <laughs> Spider-Man is literally the most OP. What if not heck? at least amongst, like, Galactus level. That's so insane. Is there a picture of what, like, magic Spider-Man looks like? Uh, There is, but I don't have the time to pull it up. Okay, uh, okay. Unless, I, I'll pull it up in a bit. Let's first... We'll do it, we'll do it like, yeah. like, post-show. Let's get your theories. Dude, yeah, it'll be know, right like so here. Much. How about that? It'll be right here, that picture of uh, Magic Spider-Man. Yeah, so... Uh, I don't even know if I have any theories. That's so much information yeah, no. just threw at me. Okay, then let's... How about this? <sighs> Fast X. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Now a trilogy. Dude. Let it fucking die. It's now... It's official, right? It's going to be a three-part. Fast X. I, Hold on. Fast X. A three-parter. Yeah. What's the last movie you remember that was a three-parter? I don't fucking know, dude. The last episode with Harley was a three-parter. <laughs> <laughs> what? We fuck? didn't even finish three seasons of Origin. Like, what the hell? Dude, three parts of Fast... All right. What's a scene? Because I saw a meme of this. Yes. A scene from any of the Fast and Furious movies where you like. Like, you almost walked out of theater. Like, you're like, okay, this is funny. I never went to see a Fast and Furious movie in a theater. (laughs) Ever. You've seen them, though, right? I seen the first one when it first came out, and I don't remember it at all. You don't remember? Dude. I'm not watching Bonus episodes. Not in We're going to review all the Fast and Furious. (laughs) After we do the Scream ones with you. Fine. Yeah. Bonus episodes. Oh, my God. I don't even want to rewatch them, if I'm being honest. Speaking of which, we will be doing Scream episodes with Oliver, where he'll be trying to guess the killer, because he hasn't seen any of them and barely remembers the first. I remember the first. I knew the killer is in the first. Okay, so two through six. We'll see how many gets right, and if you don't get them right, there will be punishment. We don't know yet. Good. I was going to mention you guys have, I'm not going to mention it. You guys have three choices. We're either going to do the Hot Ones Challenge every time he does it, I can do and it. it goes up a level every time he gets it wrong. We do a Bean Boozle challenge. No, we're not doing that. That's what I was going to mention. I don't want to do that. We either do that. Nope. Or we do the Hot Nut challenge, which is the same thing up, but it's hotter than the Hot Wing challenge. I don't No, I don't. I don't like this. You guys comment down below. I'll also put in the Spotify as a poll. You guys vote. Dude. Even if one person votes 100%, that's what we do. It could be up to one person in the world. You realize that, like... That means I have to fuck you up for Fast and Furious, right? Yeah. And there's 11 of them. <laughs> <laughs> Almost 13. Almost 13. Right? No, because no. this is 10, and then it'll 11 and 12, so it'll be 12. No, it'll be 14. This no, because this Fast X is the start of the trilogy. Then right. there's two more. Oh, yeah. So yeah. 12, 13. Unless you're counting Hobbs and Shaw. I am counting Hobbs and Okay. Yeah. Fuck you, man. I don't want to do this. <laughs> no so, one vote. <laughs> 
So speaking of a sequel that I actually do want to see, Freaky Friday. With Jamie Lee Curtis and Lindsay They're Lohan. They're both confirmed to come back? Yep. So... <laughs> One of our friends, when I sent this to him, said, what is it called? Six Saturday? I... Shout out. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> get here from my hero. <laughs> Um, I, I, I'm excited. I'm going to watch it. I mean, I'm going to watch it. I mean, like really, like I loved the original. All, all you're going to do is like, what? Like do the same thing. Just more updated. Probably a three way swap. Probably with like Lindsay Lohan's kid. Oh, that sounds weird. And like Jamie Lee Curtis will more than likely be like her personality be shot into the kid. And then the kid will probably go into Jamie Lee. Yeah. And maybe Lindsay won't be swapped. Maybe she'll have to be the one to stop it. Or maybe it'll just be counterclockwise. Like Who knows? It. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. Is it uh, – that's a Disney movie, right? I think so, yeah. Disney so made the original. Disney yeah. Plus then? Yeah. And then another odd movie coming out that I just briefly want to touch on, the JFK assassination movie that's coming out. Uh, you were telling me the cast about that. Yeah, the Give cast is what intrigues me. You have Pacino, you have Travolta, and you have Shia LaBeouf, you have Courtney Love. It's like – First off, Shia LaBeouf, where you been? <laughs> What's funny is I looked at all of them, I'm like, well, none of them are playing JFK. <laughs> Shia LaBeouf, where you <laughs> I doubt it. Who, honestly, who would play JFK? I don't think they're going to go. They probably unless gonna he's going to be like a central a character. Unless he's going to be a central character, they're just going to probably do like a side. Probably just a side view, yeah. like lookalike type thing. Unless he is like. Shia LaBeouf, yo, Shia LaBeouf's going to be the assassin. Probably. Did you see that uh, Hulu series with uh, Dave Frank? No, not Dave Frank. James Franco and no, the, I, think so. I, I think I I talked to you about it. It was a Stephen King thing. Um, is it? Oh, the cult yeah. is literally the date of when yeah, yeah. Oh, nineteen twenty two. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that. Dope. I love that. I love show. that. Yeah. So, before I get into the next thing, okay, I've noticed something. What? You look better, bud. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, it's honestly it's because of the new shirt. Is that a true classic tee? Of course it's a true classic tee, dude. I've got tight around the arms, and it's pretty loose on the bottom. What do you think it is? Oh. <laughs> what about those pants, though? They're they Gordon's. look like <laughs> Okay. Well, I'm working on it. Okay. It's in my cart on the internet. <laughs> is there underwear in your cart? Is there active wear in your cart? Do they have that? Yeah. Then no, what not about their yet. polos or their button-up t-shirts. Okay, take it easy, okay? I'm still working on getting the code. There's a code, right? There is a code. And What's if you code? type in that code, Nerd Locker, guess what happens? No idea. 25% off your first order. Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to I'm going to have to I'm going to have to stock up on that cart then. I think you should. I think you should get a, a b- bunch more because, you know, you you might look a little bit less of a, you know. What do you mean? Well, that was insulting. What do you got going on here? I have some nice black pants. It's Easy. very sexual. Yes. Like Burt Reynolds. <laughs> That's how I feel. I feel like Burt Reynolds in this. <laughs> and then look at mine as well. Also tight around the sleeves, tight around the chest, but loose right over here. It's great. I'll get pants. Don't worry. Don't worry. What would you say I looked like earlier? A prison inmate? Yep, I was going to say that again, but honestly, you're the best looking prison inmate in that fucking cell. Damn right I am. Don't bend over. <laughs> <laughs> you guys use that code down below, and uh, yeah, there's your advice for the day. <laughs> Nerd Locker is the code for 25% off of your purchase. Remember, again, Nerd Locker. And all right, couple, one last thing I'm going to say, and then I'm going to give it over to you. Okay. I sent you a weird video of a church that had a painting. Right. And I, but, rec- I know the painting. I can't remember the name of it. And then they pull the painting away, and there's a secret painting underneath of, like, a dragon. It's like basically uh, like a human civilization fighting against some sort of dragon or serpent-like creature, right? Yeah. Weird. And it's so weird. Like, I mean, what are your thoughts? So like, it's either someone initial thoughts on that. Well, it's either someone was high as fuck when they when they painted this, and they're like, "Yo, snake with." Like, and this was at the teeth. church of Saint George uh, Magori. 
So what country is that in? It doesn't say. Oh, okay. But, but like anyway, I know the the painting on top, and they were like pulling it apart to like get it like restored. Mm -hmm. And then there's a secret painting below. What does? Were there dragons beforehand? Because a lot of the paintings are based off of like either. I like, mean, there's a lot of dragons or... like in a lot of folklore, and you have a lot of artist renditions of dragons. But a lot of it isn't like religious related, though. Not religious related, or even that old too because like a lot of things are more modern when it comes yeah. to de depictions of that so something that was that old and like where was that church always a church and yeah that's just really odd and why keep it there you know if you're gonna put something over it what's the point maybe they just didn't like it what if it's like like but what if it, it's like as but why not that? just take it down why it, leave maybe it, was it just, there? You know, they were just like, eh, just paint over it. It's fine. But they didn't even paint over it. They just like. They just put it on it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Less cost efficient. I have no idea. We're clearly not experts in. No, but we now know painting people are. anything. I mean, there could be dragons. There could not be dragons. I mean, there's a Komodo Dude, dragon okay, out there. Okay. Would you have a dragon, like, as a pet? If it was like Hiccup, yeah. Hiccup's huge, though. Yeah, but I want a dragon that won't kill me. Obviously, it's your dragon. Dragons have like a bond with their owner. So we're still going by how how to train your dragon. I mean, Logic. that's like I feel like that's most dragons. Okay. I mean, like like uh, Game of Thrones, she has a bond with the dragons, and a lot of other people. Well, no, those people are dead. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna give it over to you to end this out. Dead by Daylight made an right. Yes, welcome again to uh, Oliver's Gaming Corner. We have a little bit of news about Dead by Daylight, mm. which I was very shocked about. <laughs> Um, there is an image online on their uh, Dead by Daylight uh, or Behaviors uh, Instagram where they're uh, introducing Nick Cage as a, I believe, yes. a character, as a survivor. Um, it very much looks like uh, Willy's Wonderland. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if the, uh, there's going to be a killer of like a, one of the mechanicals or the animatronics that they use in the movie at all. Because sometimes when they deliver a killer or a survivor, they'll put a killer with it. Um, I don't think when they released Ash... There was a killer, though. So I think he was like a, his own exclusive type thing. Yeah. Um, but I'm very excited. I've been playing a lot recently. I haven't been streaming it as much as I should because I kind of stepped away from that genre. But, yo, if I could steal the Declaration of Independence and Dead by Daylight, <laughs> fucking sign me up. <laughs> did you see the Five Nights at Freddy teaser? I did. Um, That's going to be scary. Yeah. I don't. <sighs> I can't. Wait. Have you played the game? No. Dude, it's fucking. Sp I honestly, I played like ten minutes of it. Because <laughs> yeah. it, I mean, it's a type of game that just relies on jump scare, not story, really. Mm -hmm. I know there's a whole lore about it because someone was giving me the rundown about it. I'm like, really, okay, I didn't the even know up. that. There's a whole thing about it. Really. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm definitely probably gonna watch it just because it's one of those games or to movies adaptations. Mm -hmm. Um, and we'll we'll probably talk about it here too. Yeah. But um, when's that supposed to come out? I don't know. Talk about something. So, yeah. Well, going forward, we are going to be reformatting. Obviously, you guys have seen we're constantly evolving this podcast, and we want to get your guys' opinions. What other things would you guys like us to talk about? What other things would you like to see? We are, like I said, every episode might be a little bit different, whether it be theme songs or title cards or anything like that. I'm working very hard on this editing process and making it as smooth as possible and as enjoyable for you guys to also see. So I do want to make that uh, clear and out there so you guys also are aware. And uh, when does this come out? October 27th. Of this year? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's three okay. days before Halloween. All right. So we will definitely be doing that. And there's also something else kind of cool that will be coming out over Halloween from us, too. A little teaser there. Say what? That stuff that's happening in a couple weeks with the one guy that we were just talking about. What are you saying? You're messing with me. <laughs> <laughs> Where can they find you, asswipe? You can find me on any social media platform that had being uh, Instagram, Twitch, or Twitter. I am the Sphere Twenty One, except for TikTok. I'm Oliver Khan VA on TikTok. Fucking dweeb. came out of nowhere you could find me 
at Amore Photography or Archangel Studios Official and Nerd Locker Podcast wherever you get your social media or podcast stuff. Yeah, that thing. Oh, crying. <laughs> Called a dweeb since like six fucking grade. <laughs> You're fucking one. That's what you are. Oh fuck! All right, right, let's get out of here. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh man. Hey, what's your fucking dragon? <laughs>